Hi here, welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 78. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how classic or offline reorganization consumes more transactional log space. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. So the problem scenario is I want to demonstrate in this video tutorial like how a classic or offline reorganization consumes more transactional log space. Typically, uh, when we look at two types of uh, reorganization schemes, classic or the uh, offline reorganization of a table and in place or uh, online reorganization of a table. So typically what we uh, think is classic uh, reorganization consumes less log space than an in place reorganization, which is the case. Uh, but there is also a special case that I would like to bring uh, in this video tutorial. So if you do a clustered reorganization of a table on recoverable database, then the logging requirements are actually higher than the non-clustered reorg of the same table. Now what is the solution for this? The solution is to provide the additional uh, transactional log space that is required for the classic clustered reorganization. Why such an additional log space requirement is there is because each RID that is um, getting reorganized is logged uh, in the transactional log during a classic clustered reorganization so if you do the same table if you do the classic reorganization uh, without the clustering like non-clustering uh, rear then the logging requirements you'll find that it is uh, somewhat lesser uh, and as you can see like it is like rid dependent right so uh, if you f have only thousand records probably you are not going to see this uh, you should have some like million records, two million records like that because each RID will consume about four bytes. So if it is like one million uh, records, then uh, approximately four MB of transactional log space or one uh, transactional log file of four MB size it will consume just the clustered reorg alone uh, because of the RID logging. So let's just uh, get into an example so that it will be easily uh, understand. Uh, we, I have started the instance here connected to the database RRR and uh, uh, I, am I am showing you like the log primary is 2, log secondary is 0 and it is in a recoverable database log arc method is set. So I am just going to initiate a reorg of the table uh, staff and uh, it is like a, a non-clustered or unclustered reorg. So even with two primary log files you will see that the reorg is getting successful and also the staff table is having like huge records. Uh, you know then only you will you will find uh, uh, because each RID is only consuming four bytes right so you should have really like I, I would say just try out at least with five uh, five hundred thousand or six hundred thousand records so that you can reproduce the issue if you are trying it uh, okay so you can see that the uh, rear got successful but now DB2 rear table table name index IDX so there is an index on the table staff now this this one is called as a clustered rear now the same table staff is getting reorganized as per the uh, index like as per the keys that are part of the index idx so this is called as a clustered reorg so in which specific arrangement of rows are initiated okay so big now you can see that you should get some kind of an error actually uh, it's going to it's not a very powerful laptop so it's going to take some time and it's a huge table yeah, so I got SQL error 964, which is like the transactional log space error. So I can rectify this. So db2 update dbcfg uh, using log second. Okay, uh, I'll just give some 10 log files just for the time being. Okay, so I'll run the same classic clustered uh, reorganization of the table staff so you should find that this time the reorganization will will get go through without any errors so uh, so that is that is what so the logging requirement for a classic clustered reorganization of a table uh, is a little bit higher and it is also based on the number of records okay so each are ready four bytes so accordingly you can just calculate okay uh, hope this uh, I think it is still taking some time okay hope this information was useful to you uh, see you in the next video tutorial please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2luw academy until then bye bye